This video explains how to calculate the time difference between two daytime objects in milliseconds using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the date time module, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we need to create two daytime objects, as you can see in the second and third code boxes. So in the second code box, I'm creating our first example daytime. And this daytime object is called myDate1. And we can print this daytime object using the print function. So as you can see, our first daytime object is the 24th of May 2022 at 11.20 and 12 seconds. And our second datetime object can be created in the third code box. So as you can see, this datetime object corresponds to the 16th of June 2022 at 1 p.m. 30 minutes and 27 seconds. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the time difference between these two daytime objects. Then we can simply subtract the first daytime object from the second daytime object using the minus operator. In this case, I'm also storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling my diff default. And I'm printing this output using the print function below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that the time difference between our two daytime objects is 23 days, 2 hours, 10 minutes and 14 seconds. However, in this tutorial, I want to show you how to calculate the time difference in milliseconds. And for this reason, we need to do an additional step, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, I'm using our data object my diff default that I have created in the previous part of the code. And then I'm using the total seconds function to extract our time difference in seconds. And then I'm multiplying this value times 1000 to get milliseconds. And in this case, I'm also storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling my diff millisec. And I'm printing this data object below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that the time difference between our two daytime objects is a huge number in milliseconds. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.